Hey guys, so I decided that I did not want to do a whole entire makeup collection video. I kind of wanted to break it up a bit. So I'm going to be showing you guys my eyeshadow palette collection. To start off my eyeshadow palette collection, um, I guess we'll start on this side. So right here, we see my bow. Uh, you know, I have no idea how to say this, so I'm not even going to say it. But it's by Too Faced. It's like the Bojour eyes. I'm not really sure, but... It's by Too Faced. Um, it's a super cool palette. I can't attest to if it's good or not, but um, I just don't use it because I find that I have more pigmented colors in other palettes and ones that I like better. Next, I have my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. Um, it's also one of my most used. Um, this is an amazing palette. I will say that the new like formula repackaging colors I don't like as much so I feel very lucky to have this older version um I use this color all the time it's called nude beach and I use it because I love the glitter in it and I usually just put the color all over my lid with the glitter popping out and it's just so natural and so beautiful I also use sexpresso a ton it's a nice dark color um I use this pink color this gold anyways in short, I it's a beautiful palette. I love it. Quality is impeccable. And then I'll move over to this section. Now, these are like glow kits. Oh, that's another eyeshadow palette I forgot about. But these are just contour and glow kits. So, yeah. This is the Lorac um, Unzipped Palette. And I used to use this a ton when I first got it. And I am looking to use this dark burgundy color because... I do think it's beautiful, and I think I could really make a ton of looks out of it. I also think that this area over here, these, like, glittery champagne-y colors that are on the rose gold side are beautiful. I love this brown color because it has red tones. Um, I think it's an amazing palette. The color combination is unbeatable. Um, I love how everything's kind of pinky, rosy toned, and... It's just an amazing palette. I'm just going to stack all my stuff up here. <laughs> but I have the three naked palettes. Um, we'll start with one, I guess, and work our way up to three. I don't have smoky. But this is just the regular naked palette. And I broke the mirror, so I had to, like, tape this thing over it. But it's just a really nice palette. Um, I love it. I use it all the time. It's definitely one of my most used. These, like, all these on this side, I've used multiple multiple times i've definitely used every single color in the palette which is something i can't say a lot but in eighth grade i'd always um use dark horse and smog all over my lid and then when i was a freshman i'd use like these lighter colors and actually try to do like looks with an actual crease color and then i have the naked two which is my favorite palette i use it all the time um when i first started freshman year um, I did a smoky eye every single day and thing so you could see I use pistol a ton um, I use this on the inner corner. I used busted all the time all the time And then I mixed it with like snake bite suspect um, now I'm more into like the black to use this kind of a smudgy eyeshadow look go with the naked palette But if you're into smoky and grungy definitely get the naked too. Um, this is my favorite and then I have my Naked 3 palette. I think out of all the palettes, this one is the prettiest, obviously. Um, the pink colors are just, like, stunning. And I used to use these all over my lid. Um, I don't use it as much now, though, because for some reason, like, I just would go for the Naked or the Naked 2. But I think that out of all the palettes, this, this palette is the prettiest. Just because I think these lighter colors are so, so, so beautiful. 3 palettes, so yeah. Next, I'm going to scooch... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have one more palette that I forgot about. Um, it's the Naked um, Book of Shadows. Or it's not Naked. It's the Urban Decay Book of Shadows. But, um, yeah, it has a ton of colors. And, again, when I was a freshman and I actually did my makeup, I remember vividly doing um, different colored eyeshadow every day. So sometimes I wore blue and sometimes I wore dark blue. Sometimes I wore purple, black, um... I wore this color a lot and this color a lot. Um, those were my favorites, and I just I thought it was super pretty. And then I there was like an eyeliner, mascara, and lip gloss or something here, but I don't even know where those are. But yeah, this is perfect for colors, and I think if you're just beginning, then this is something you should invest in because it comes with colors, it comes with darks, it comes with lights, it just comes with everything. Oh, so, this is where I keep 
the other like kind of bulk of my palettes I have this right here which is the Tarte I'm not even sure what this is called but this is my favorite palette um, every single day of sophomore I use this I use the bronzer every single day because I really like wanted to be super tan I don't even know why but when I was a sophomore I do like seven layers of bronzer and I'd show up to school and be like oh my god it doesn't show up but really I'd be like orange and I'd be five million times darker than my regular skin color because I'm quite pale um anyways that was a thing for a while I used to use this highlight every day then I realized it was not good because there were other options that were better I do like these eye shadow colors and I do like the blush I think it's just a well-versed palette and if you're a beginner definitely invest in it it was only like $40 and you get a full-size blush which is like $30 as well as a bronzer highlight and eyeshadow color. So, definitely a must-have. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette. This was the, the first, like, giant makeup item I bought. Um, I got this in 8th grade. It was, like, the first thing I ever ordered online. Um, it's beautiful. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette because of the memories. I did my eyeshadow with this on Halloween. And I thought it looked good for, like, the first time attempt. But this is my favorite eyeshadow just because I think it's beautiful. Um, I love the color scheme. I love it so much. I just, I think it's beautiful. Um, the pigment is amazing. And this just brings me back a ton of really nice memories. You know, so I, I love this palette. I can't say enough good stuff. And it's, like, my favorite makeup item that I have. And it's beautiful. Next, I have my Naked on the Run, and I'm going to be really honest with you guys, I never used this. I got this for Christmas one year, um, because my mom and I were in Sephora, and she thought it was cute, and I thought it was cute, so she ended up buying it for me. For the price, this was $60. I do not think it was worth it. Um, it comes with a lip gloss that I completely forgot about, and I should take it out, so I actually use it. But, um, yeah, it comes with a lip gloss, and... It comes with all these eyeshadows. I think they're beautiful. I think you could do better. I think the blush is nice. I do use the blush a lot. I do use the bronzer and I do use the highlighter. But they're not top notch and for $60 it is average. But I like the packaging. Okay, I just realized how many eyeshadow palettes I have. Next we have Bare Minerals. Um... I use this every single day of freshman year. I have this dark blue color. Um, but yeah, this is a nice blue smoky color. It's gorgeous. Um, this is a brown color. I love it. Um, yeah, this is like one of my favorite palettes ever. Bare Minerals and it's beautiful. Okay. Next we have MAC palette. This is also one of my favorite palettes. For $50 though... I don't think it's worth it for $50. I don't think so. But I still remember the order. It's All That Glitters, Naked Lunch, Amber Lights, and Stars and Rockets. I remember I watched a gazillion videos just to come up with this combination. And when I was in 8th grade, I went to the MAC store every single day. MAC Barbie, who's now Bethany Moda. But yeah, beautiful. And then we're approaching my last palette these three right here i'll just take them out so we have my naked two basics um i use this every day i shattered this color which was my favorite it was like a gray color that i used to use a smudgy eyeliner and i used to wear this every single day like without fail it was my favorite palette ever i do like my eyeshadow look with these lighter colors slash my eyebrows then i take the darker smoky color and I do a nice smudgy eyeliner and I thought it was a really nice makeup look so I definitely recommend that one it was worth the money because I've used it the most out of all my palettes then I have this Lorac um I don't even know um yeah I think I bought this on vacation or something but it's just a ton of nice blue colors and a black color I don't even know why I bought this for like for a, for a hot minute, I thought I was, like, into colors and doing, like, blue eyeliner looks. Then I have this Inglot palette, which made it to my July favorites. But if I'm being honest, I liked it when I first got it just because of, like, Shopper's High. But thinking about it, eh. 
Oh my god. So, I just finished going through all my eyeshadow palettes. I cannot believe I have this many. But, oh my god, this is crazy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I appreciate it so much. Um, seriously guys, like, I love making videos. It's like my favorite thing in the world. And the fact that you guys watch them, it just, it makes me so happy. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. You guys are all beautiful. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye everyone.